From the 2009 SHOT Show in Orlando, Florida, this is the Shepherd Report. Sponsored by Insight Tech Gear. Back with the Shepherd Report, Rob Latham. Needs no introductions, won everything, shot everything, worked in the design of something though. A very nice new unit. Not the XD, but the XD-M. Right. It, we took basically the XD and we wanted to start upgrading it and start adding a few features to it. Well, pretty soon we realized we had a new gun. Mm -hmm. You know, we could have hot rodded the XD and made some modifications to it, but hey, at some point we're changing enough things. Let's go ahead and go another direction. Let's start a whole different platform. And that's what we have with the XDM. And the big well, changes. What am I going to see well, when I first pick the gun up? I, I, think, I think, aside from the SHOT Show tag that said that there's not a firing pin in this gun, <laughs> yeah. uh, a lot of things are similar in how it works. I mean, if you're accustomed to the way the XD works, then the XDM is going to be a simple fit for you. It has all the same safety. It has the trigger safety. It has a firing pin striker safety. It has the grip safety, just like a 1911. But from there, everything's pretty much different. The, the, aside from the shape, it feels of the, different. Ev everything at that point, you know, there's, it's, it, it, that's everything that was the same. Mm -hmm. Now, when you go to different, the feel of the frame is different in your hand. The feel of the slide is different. The shape of the slide is different. Uh, it's a whole new gun. We've reduced the travel that the trigger actually moves to reset, which is something that like the competition shooters, you know, like myself, actually quite like. Uh, but probably the first noticeable thing when you put it in your hand is the fact that the grip has different back strap pieces that you can put in to basically size it for different people's hands. And we have a difference. My uh, hands, uh, amazingly, uh, is bigger than yours. It, well, and most people are. You know, if you look at it, my fingers are very short. I have a very fat hand, but very short fingers. So uh, just because I'm big everywhere else, well, just because I'm tall and fat, how's that a nice way? We'll get right to it. Large. Husky. Yeah. The full-figured man. Full-figured man. There you go. You would think I'm going to want a big grip. I'm really not that way about it. Because I can't reach the trigger if the gun gets too large, and I can't reach around the frame. Right. But if I put on the number the number two of the three back strap pieces, the number one's are small, the number two is the same basically in size as the previous XD right. is, and the number three is larger, which actually approximates the size of our XD45 frame, which okay. is a much bigger frame. Yeah. And I prefer the number two, which is right in the middle. The one, the one is so small that somebody with an even smaller hand than mine, or somebody with really like skinny fingers or something like that, they're going to love that because yeah. that basically gives you the smallest gun size package you can get that's going to be a double stack 9 or 40. High cap gun. Yeah. yeah. Well, then I noticed that the slide cuts are different. You know, we spend a lot of time, you know, when you're at refinement level and trying to change little things, you look at everything, like what little things could be done. Just changing the angle that the, the serrations work on, on the, uh, the, the slide serrations, you notice when you're pushing it, you're not really pushing it straight back. Your hand kind of wants to push down on it. So by putting the, ang the, the, the angles of that direction and the actual slide is angled differently, when you push down, it makes your fingers firmer so on it. working efficiently. Right, exactly. So it, it's not going to slip. It's, it's much less slip without adding real aggressive lines to it or sharp corners, which then you actually hurt sure. to hold. We changed the sights. We put on, for lack of a better term, the kind of sights that I like to shoot on my competition guns. Yeah. Granted, they're a little bit lower profile because the ones I use for just competition. Okay. But they're still big enough and blocking enough oh, yeah. you can see them. They have good corners on the slide or on the front sight, which is important. You want a nice flat surface. You don't want anything round. And you want nice square corners. And you get different options. We have night sight options. We have fiber optic sight options. and. If the white sticks, I like right. those myself. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and that's the standard sights which this one has are the three dot white sights. Now, I guess then the, probably for the, the, the fact that the gun, this one is a 40, and this gun was basically designed for law enforcement. That, right. Its whole purpose is to give us a better gun to work in the law enforcement arena for the 40 caliber. Mm -hmm. And I believe this is the best 40 caliber service pistol you're going to get. And one of the features they put into it was to aid in the disassembly and maintenance of the gun. On, the, on most guns, when you, you, drop, you drop the slide on a striker fire gun, you have to pull the trigger, right. which is no big deal. And and everybody, can, everybody can do it yeah. if it's empty. But on the XDM, you have a different feature, which you drop, drop the slide, lock it back, rotate the lever forward, and it comes off and you never touch the trigger. Right. And it's just another enhancement to the design to ease in its use. And then at that point, this is the part where you hold the spring <laughs> yes, down. Yes, 
take Another that story, out. Another story, we're not telling that you've, one. And, and just like that, you've done a field strip. Right. So if indeed you had made a mistake and never unloaded the gun, well, you would find around in there right now instead of possibly You'd be another way. But not injured. That's right. So while no gun, I believe, is inherently a safe or unsafe gun, it's just a simpler operation to be able to make it work. And to put it back together, put it back, you lock it open, put the lever down. Ready to go. And it's ready to go. Um, there are a lot of small things done to the gun. Obviously, the feel of the gun is dramatically different. There's a small reshaping gun up here because on the old XD, I should say the regular XD model, uh, this shape is slightly different. And one of the things that I always liked to change when I was allowed to modify those was to reshape that slightly. So when my hand went in, guess what? It's a little bit easier to draw and it's a little bit of a, a more comfortable grip right. position. Other than that, it's just ergonomics on top of ergonomics. And of course, when you buy the XDM, you really don't have to worry about equipment. No, we're going to give you everything you could possibly need to get started. But wait, there's more. But we wait, there's more. Behind door number one Whoa. in Monty Hall, you get a, a, a whole package which comes with extra magazine. You get magazine pouches. You get a holster. You get a lock. And you get your extra grip frame or your or right. back strap pieces. With one punch, you knock the pin out and you put your new back strap in. You can go You're check and go. see, hey, which size do I actually like, which is the one I want to use and you can fit the gun to anybody. And it comes in a case that protects it. Which is really cool. Really nice. I actually use one for something else on well, top yeah, of just carrying gonna, guns. Either one of get us into that. do that. But it comes with a really neat DVD with this right? cool guy shooting this This really good-looking guy. Wait a minute, now they know we're lying, because it's, it's me. <laughs> Robbie gives a great instruction on the gun, a lot of good shooting tips. We had a ton of fun doing it, It was it a too. blast, it was. You know, when you can be in Louisiana at the part of the summer we were in there and have a good time, you had a good time. All right, we have a good time. We ha always have a always good time. Always have a good time. And now it's a 9. Right. The new version is a 9. The, the first model was designed specifically to get into law enforcement. That's a 40, because that is by far the most popular law enforcement caliber right now. Right. And what we had was the highest capacity 40. Sure. You could get in this kind of gun. Well, we changed the model over to, an, uh, we increased the model lines to, uh, to a 9 millimeter caliber. And now we have a 19 round magazine in our 9 millimeter. Yeah, it has a higher capacity than we can build in quite a few, uh, quite right. a lot of other kind of guns because the magazine is actually wide enough to start with to stack the, the rounds correctly. Whereas a lot of these, uh, that's not the way it yeah, goes. Yeah, they've kind of jerry rigged yeah, one into the other. Yeah, it kind of doesn't work right. So in 40, you're going to get 16 that stack perfectly and uh, 19 rounds in the magazine. So you have 20 rounds in the gun. That'll be enough for most people. I hope so. Not that Unless I don't want him to shoot to more target. than 20, yeah, right? Yeah, shoot all you want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you watch the DVD, you realize we're going to shoot a little bit more than <laughs> <Yeah>. that. <laughs> we went through a truckload, a truckload because we wanted to and we could. That's right, because we could. We were allowed to. Great stuff. Selling great. It is. It's wonderful and uh, uh, no complaints right now. Rob Latham, this year, you're going to go out and uh, rock them? i am already been practicing. I'm getting ready. I'm going to shoot an XDM in production class at the Nationals. And over the winter, I've shot, them, I've shot more this winter than any winter previous to this. Normally when the winter comes around, I uh, has a nice way to say goofing off. Yeah. Well, this year my goofing off was at the shooting range and I shot a lot. Uh, I'm actually ready to go right now. I'm not, I'm not two months You're away. Goofing from, off the way you used to goof that's off right. as a kid. <laughs> right, as a kid. Uh, you know, it's kind of funny. The older I get, the more I enjoy the shooting and uh, the more I shoot. Rob Leith, I mean, the TGO is still available. The great yeah, we gotta let that we gotta let that TGO thing go. You know, that was, <laughs> yeah. That's the marketing people. I'm just Rob. <laughs> he is Rob. I'm Jim. This is the Shepherd Report. More from the shot ship. Be with us, okay? Protecting the U.S. military for 20 years. Now, ready to defend your loved ones. Dominate the darkness with the WX-150 Tactical Weapon Light from Insight Tech Gear. The unbreakable LED puts out 150 scorching lumens of blinding power or thug debilitating strobe light. The machined aircraft-grade aluminum easily locks to your tactical rail and will stand up to maximum weapon shock. Dominate the darkness with the WX-150 Weapon Light from Insight Tech Gear.